Following a set of questions to discern the nature of the swelling, begin inspecting the neck from both sides while noting any visible changes. Now, instruct the patient to sip some water or simply swallow while noting any upward movement of the swelling. Next comes tongue protrusion to exclude other causes. After positively confirming a thyroid swelling, ask the patient some questions to assess their thyroid status and measure the size of the gland. Moving on to palpation, assess the temperature of the gland by comparing with a normal site on both sides of the neck. Check for any tenderness by gently palpating the gland. Try and find its lower limit by asking the patient to swallow against your finger. If you suspect a retrosternal extension, percuss up till the manubrium. Moving on to the back, with the patient's neck slightly flexed, bilaterally palpate the surface, the consistency and the margins of the gland. Check for any diminished pulsations along the cervical 6 transverse process. Assess for muscle fixity along two planes on both sides of the gland. Make sure to perform a cervical lymph node examination which has been detailed in a separate video. For the next step, gently compress the gland and lean in, closely listening for any strider. This is known as a cocker's test. Now, instruct the patient to lift his upper limbs above the level of the shoulders, while making sure to look for any facial flushing, dyspnea or venous engorgement. Perform a handshake and check the patient's pulse while also assessing the overall skin condition for any sweating or excessive dryness. With the patient's both hands extended forwards and fingers spread apart, look for a fine tremor. The sensitivity of the test can be increased by placing a sheet of paper on top of his hands. Instruct the patient to look straight ahead and check for any periorbital swelling, loss of lateral eyebrows, absence of blinking and lid retraction. If present, check from above the patient's head as well. Ask the patient to follow your finger and check for a lid lag. Now, instruct the patient to look at a point in the distance and then suddenly draw in your finger, while checking for loss of convergence of the eyeball.